Hi hey, scholars, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use spreadsheet to graph two variables from our face to nations data to see if there's a relationship. So first thing to do is make yourself your own copy of the spreadsheet so that you can put graphs all over it. Go to file, uh, make a copy, and call it face the nations data and put period whatever it is, one or two, and then your name, or names if you're working with a group. And you'll have to give that a minute to form. While it's doing that, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, we're back. What's good? So we're going to take a look at two variables, ones that we talked a little bit about in class. We have the per capita income, and we also have ecological footprint. So let's take a look at those two variables and make a scatter plot. Here's how you do it. Highlight from per capita income going all the way across. There we go. Then go to the insert chart icon, or you can go to the insert drop down menu and click chart. First thing is to add a range. So click there, add a range, now highlight eco footprint going all the way across. Okay. Now say combine ranges vertically. It's basically just taking those two rows and scrunching them together to think of it as one data set. Now we need to say switch rows and columns. Most spreadsheets are used to thinking of data in columns. And then we're going to say use column B as headers. If we look at column B, we can see that's the name of the variable. We're going to make a scatter plot, which is the kind of plot you make if you're looking for some kind of a mathematical relationship. Scatter and definitely there appears to be a relationship. We would say there is a correlation between these two variables, meaning that um, you might say one affects the other or the other affects the one. Um, it's really hard to figure out what the cause, which one is the cause, which one is the effect. Um, it's possible that both of them could be related to some other third variable. But nonetheless, we can say that there's a relationship because they are both um, following a trend. As one gets bigger, the other one is getting bigger too. So, um, well, let's go ahead and um, insert this chart, and then I'll show you how you can edit some features of it. So I clicked edit. It should show up back beginning. Here it is. All right, so obviously we didn't add a title yet. So let's add that title. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to say um, per capita, or income per capita versus ecological footprint. And I might say something more about like the context for various countries or various nations. Okay. We should definitely add titles to these axes. So the best way to do that is it looks like we're going to have to go into this here, uh, which is a drop down menu to advanced edit. Click on that and then go to, we're in customize, go down to um, where it is? here we go, access horizontal, title. That is the income per capita and we might put in parentheses units, US dollars. Okay, update that. Uh, oh, we forgot to do the vertical. All right, well, let's click on that again. Advanced edit. Here it is. So let's go this time to axis vertical. And this time we're going to type in ecological footprint. And the, the units are going to be hectares. And update. OK. Uh, that's it. This graph is ready for publication. 
What you can do now is you can take this and go to copy chart. And then you should be able to go into this link that I gave you for the write-up template. So I have a lot of instructions in there. You have a data section where you will put in your graph and hopefully we can go to <clears throat> edit paste for web clipboard here it is income per capita and voila there it is if you want to make any changes to it you have to go back to the spreadsheet make your changes and recopy and paste it so we can see that basically the data is going in a line we would call that, because it has a positive slope, we would call that a positive correlation. If the data were clumped in a negative slope, we would call that a negative correlation. And if it was a flat line, we would basically say that there is zero correlation. In other words, as one variable is changing, it's really not affecting the other variable. And if your data is just all over the map, completely random, again, we would say that there is no correlation. How tightly the data forms a line makes the difference between what we would call high correlation versus low correlation. Uh, lower, this is, I would say, kind of medium correlation. Uh, perfectly, perfect correlation would be that you have all these data points in a perfect line. And um, obviously we're not there. There is, a t there is a statistical way of doing a measurement where you get a number called the, um, the regression value and that would actually tell you quantitatively how close the data are to forming a line. But that's you'll get into that when you take stats. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here. Ask me in class if you have any questions.